Hi guys, it's Pranav here from the Jessops team and today I'm with Nikon and delighted to bring you the brand new Z50 II. Housed in this small compact body, we have the Nikon APS-C DX sensor at 20.9 megapixels, powered by the Xspeed 7 processor, which is shared in the higher Nikon models. So, because of the addition of the Xspeed 7 processor, we unlock all those fantastic autofocus capabilities from cameras such as the Z9, Z8 and Z63, giving you nine different subject recognitions, 3D tracking and brilliant autofocus for still photography. So what I find really exciting about this new camera is the fact that it's got pre-release function. Now that's super important for your fast action kind of subjects that are unpredictable. So it gives you one second of pre-capture before you press your shutter button and 15 or 30 frames a second depending on the resolution you are shooting in. And that's really useful for your, your wildlife, your action stuff, making sure you never miss a moment. Additionally, the Z52 is also quite a quick camera. Without the pre-release capture, you can shoot up to 11 frames continuous shooting in RAW. When you pick up the camera, it's got that slightly deeper grip there, so it's perfect for a slightly larger hand like mine. Taking some notes from the Z63, which has that lovely, lovely grip, feeling it really secure in the hand. You've got the same kind of Nikon function buttons as you usually would. It feels really, really familiar to some of the previous Nikon cameras, but there is one button that is completely brand new on the top, which is this picture control button here. The picture control button on the top of the camera allows you access into Nikon's picture control function. You can directly see these creative looks apply into your viewfinder whilst you're shooting, allowing you to be much more creative on the fly. Along with the inbuilt options that you do have on the creative look, you can also take inspiration from your favourite creators and ambassadors via the Nikon Cloud. If there's a specific recipe that they've been using that you want to apply to your camera, you can pop on the cloud and download it onto the camera, as well as creating your own recipes and functions to get that look that you desire. Looking towards the rear of the camera, we have a fantastic 2.36 million dot EVF, which is at 1000 nits of brightness, which is double the Z50. Uh, makes it really, really good and interesting for your varied light situations, which means you're not struggling in bright or backlit shots. Paired with the 3.2 inch very angle screen on the back, great for those content creators filming themselves either vertically or horizontally. The screen and viewfinder also have an auto rotating display, making it really easy to see all your settings and information when you're shooting in vertical or horizontal format. Along with your familiar dials on the top of the camera, you also have a built-in flash, great for those fill situations or when you're shooting in low light. That leads me nicely onto the ISO performance, which is a base level 100 to 51,200. Paired in with that XP7, you're getting really, really clean high ISO performance from this camera, making low light photography a breeze. So the Z52 also has some really impressive video features. You can shoot really nicely in 10-bit H.265, you can also shoot in 5.6K over sampled 4K, 30 frames a second. For those slow-mo lovers, you have 4K in 60 frames a second, which is cropped. And if you want to go even slower than that, you can shoot full HD in 120 frames. It also shoots Nikon's N-Log, which gives you maximum creative control in your post-production. For the first time in a Nikon camera, we have a product review mode. This allows the camera to seamlessly shift focus between yourself and what you're showing on camera. Perfect for all those vloggers and product reviewers out there. With all the great video features packed into this camera here, it makes it the perfect pickup for all those content creators out there. And with the USB-C port on the side of the camera here, you can not only charge the battery in camera, but it also allows you for plug and play streaming without the need for any additional software. I've really enjoyed my first look at this camera today and really, really impressed by some of the features in it. I can't wait for you guys to come in store and get your hands on it and test it out too. 